Hi guys, welcome to another edition of the Armourer's Bench. My name's Matt. Today we're going to take a look at a piece of Heckler & Koch rifle history. Now, this is the HK-53. Now, let's just take the mag out for a second. The HK-53 is a specialised shortened version of the HK-33, which is a 556x45 uh, assault rifle. Now, like the MP5 and the HK-33, the HK-53 uses the same roller delayed blowback action that we're all so familiar with. So let's just pull the bolt back and lock it around. So there we go. Like the MP5, the HK-53 also has a collapsible stock. There we go. Uh, we can see that. Now, the HK-53 was adopted by the British Royal Marines as the L101A1 and that was used in close protection duties. Uh, is also rumoured to have been used by the SAS. This particular version has a three position selector. We have safe, single shot and full auto marked as 0, 1 and 25. So like many other HK uh, products, uh, all of the HK's trigger packs and the navy grip would also fit on the lower of the HK-53. Uh, it came available with 25, 30 and 40 round magazines. This one is a 25. Let's just pop that back in. And turn it around. The HK-53 weighs about three kilograms, which is a kilogram lighter than its parrot rifle, the 33. Okay, let's take a closer look at the HK-53. On the right side we can see the collapsing stock and moulded pistol grip with finger grooves. Up front we can see that the HK-53 has Heckler & Koch's four-pronged flash hider. This example is missing its front sight hood. Here we can see the 53's folding charging handle and three position fire selector with safe, semi and full auto positions. The 53 also has HK's standard rotating diopter sight. During its service life, the HK-53 went through a series of uh, furniture changes, just like the MP5 has done. Uh, these were also pressed into service as a port firing weapon. Uh, that designation was the HK-53 uh, MICV, uh, and that had an additional cartridge case um, catch bag. In this configuration, the collapsible stock and full grip were often removed. The HK-53 remained in production until the early 2000s when it was replaced by the G36 and G36K. Thanks for watching guys, this has just been a short video to take a look at what I think is a really cool little 556 carbine. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, see you again soon.